Hey folks, welcome to part 45 of my Empire Undivided campaign in Total War Warhammer 2. So as you can see, we've been ambushed uh, during the intern. I think this is the army that was heading up towards us, the Hell Pit. Which is uh, bad news because we are in forced march stance. Uh, so I don't think this is going to go too well. But we'll go ahead and fight it anyway. See how we go. So I think my only chance is going to be if I can break my cavalry loose and get them to take out or to at least charge into the rear of the Skaven. Hmm. But with their ability to spawn units behind me, uh, it could be quite tricky. So anyway, let's see how we go. Okay. Here they come. So, let's group you up and have you not attack spears. Uh, I don't like this camera movement. You get over there. Uh, you guys group up. Look, skirmish mode. Okay. Um, you try and stay out of the way if you can. And everybody else, group up and pick your targets. Right, look at the fire throws. We need to kill them. Um, this camera is seriously bugged at the moment. You get up there, you up here, you up there, and you as well. You try and shoot the spears if you would. Hand gunners, uh, can you do something a bit useful? Like, come up here. You run up to there. Um, you try and attack them. You can back down three of these guys. Uh, what's the cav doing? Don't get caught by the spears. You charge up into them. You, you're supposed to be trying to get away from them. You kill them. Well, there's reinforcements coming in over there as well. This is a nightmare. Uh, you chase them down. You need to swing up and take them. You done your job in there. Looks like good. You hit them. Right. You turn and hit them. Actually, charge up there now. Yes, General. Yeah, you keep chasing them. Get them out of the way. For the war for the Down Emperor. here, you come out of there, would you? The you don't seem to be doing very much, you guys. And up here. Mm. You take on them, you try and push through to there actually. Are you charging in there or are you just, what, out for a saunter? Um, charge. And you can't quite catch them it seems. Go for the poison wind global deer since you've caught them. Right, they're far enough away now. You come back up here and hit them. And, good God, would you pull out? Right, you try and pull out and charge in again. I think 
Cavs doing his best it can. You need to turn and charge them now. Right, good. Uh, you up to here. You up to here. Can you come over and help out there? And I'll try to pull you out again. Right, they're running. Can you turn out hit them? And they've broken. You get across there. Yeah, they're done. Forget them. These guys are quite hardy, it seems. Attack there. Get them. Can you pull up to there? You pull down there. You turn and hit them now. You keep on them. You try and shoot them in the back. You shoot at them. Oh, my lord's just about dead. Uh, and there's untouched. Target them. You guys are dying. Why are you dying against Poison Globe? Oh, you get attacked by these guys, probably, I suppose. That makes sense. Alright. You keep shooting at them. Magic's not helping me. And we managed to wipe them out. Okay, halberdiers. Can you get up here and try and get a charge in? Not you, handgunners. Turn and shoot them. I need as much. Uh, cavalry's done. Uh, I was going to say, I need as much. Support from our uh, handgunners as possible, but nah. It's not going to make any difference. We need to hit them. No, the work fire throwers. Let us go. They're going. It looks like. Take them. Yeah. I'm losing it in here, and of course they've got the reinforcement army. Look at it. <laughs> uh, okay. Try and withdraw as much as we can. Be able to get handgunners off, but not too much else, I don't think. Okay, let's fast forward. No need to watch this disaster. This is quite buggy or laggy, I should say. Hmm. Well, I'm going to say that wouldn't have helped, but it probably did help if it slowed things down. Uh, let's watch these guys at work. Yeah. And they retreat right into 
pass of that unit down there. Feel free to throw. Finding units here that seem to not be withdrawing, but there we go. If you get a decisive defeat, I'm not surprised. <clears throat> uh, thousand kills, it's not great against a Skaven army. I don't think we wiped anybody out, particularly. Three kills, 38. These guys did a lot of good. Well, it's just unfortunate. If it was, wasn't was an ambush, we would have taken them, I'm sure. Uh, but it is what it is. At least we get some of our troops off. And hopefully all our calves survived. These guys might not have. But we might not have lost any units either. We might have lost our general, yeah. And we did lose a couple of great swords. And we lost one cab. I thought that was two there. Yeah, okay. So I can accept that. We were soundly beaten. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got uh, Balthazar in the hell pit there, and we've got Carl Franz with two armies in the vicinity as well, so they're going to come back, we're going to wipe out these guys. That will teach them. And Valmir von Raukov was killed in the battle. And look, the military alliance between dwarfs and Bretonia. Why would you guys not ally with me? I'm your pal. Okay, uh, hearts and minds. You managed to get your hands on a translated text originating from Cathay called The Art of Demagoguery. Having read the manuscript from beginning to end, you learned ways to increase your political power by creating a cult of personality around yourself and spreading propaganda by utilising fabrications of fact. To do so is no small feat, as a great amount of resources are required to covertly send political influencers to, into every state to subtly insert you into the hearts and minds of the people there, as the text suggests. On the other hand, the fruits of such labour could be highly beneficial for you. Uh, this is exactly what we're looking for. Imperial, Imperial authority plus one for a thousand prestige. Uh, it's fine, fine, fine. Besieged, doom tide. Necrot brotherhood are gone. Warhead of chaos are gone. Good. I. Uh, where did all this money come from? I've lost an army, that's what... No, I didn't lose an army. No, I did lose it. Of course. So even though the units withdrew, it was still an ambush battle. Uh, so nobody escapes. Oh well. Just need to re-raise it then. But anyway, let's get the Emperor back. Not going to risk force marching, but then 
need my warp token stash. The council is disappointed. I don't think you'd attack. Now. Let's chance it. Let's force march. I see no other option. Up to a bit there. What does the Emperor bid? You come up to here. On march. So we've got at least one army that isn't in force march. And we should be able to take them next time. Garrison in the hell pit, I don't think no, he's still down at level two, so it's not going to be up to very much. But Balthazar, what is in your army? You Just a couple of mortar. We've got a decent amount of uh, missile troops. In the hill pit. We've got another couple of crossbow units in there. Plenty of spears. I don't think they're going to attack us next turn. We'll see. Right. So, Maragliano. Oh no, we've got another turn to wait before we can attack in here, I think. It is war. No, we've got our cannon, we should be able to go straight in. It's better turn building up the siege tower. Yeah, what's the rush? Let's will. hang in there for now, I think. Britonia's not going to take Skaven Blight, which would be my next target. Sertos are still down here, so I'm going to take them later. Yeah, I think we'll just continue to siege for now. You stay in camp, get a wee bit more replenishment. I think that's us. Yes. Okay, so, do I start to recruit another army? I think we'll hold off in that for the moment. Then just do some serious investment. Public order still needs sorted out here. Speaking of serious investment. Mm. It's filed off somewhere I might want to recruit, I don't know if it is right now. Midland leave for the moment. Ah. I think this is worth it. Minus 10% artillery upkeep in all armies. So we'll go with that. And then we'll maybe build up another army once that's complete. Things are a bit cheaper. Uh, I don't, well, untainted would be useful. So, spend 1800 on a night watch. And time to upgrade this. Why not? We'll go with that. Don't need to worry about heroes. We will check our diplomacy. Look at that, 287. You must agree to military alliance soon. Now, yes. go. Yes! Excellent. Uh, I am the blood if we can get the same from you guys. Not yet. Anad. Um, 
Ukraine as well, so we can get Welcome here. to my throng. Military access at least. Won't happen. No. Okay. Aftermark we can leave Kislev. You will drink with nothing. Us. Can I ignore I don't think we need anything else there. Nordland's fine, Overland. Can we get trade yet with you guys? Thank you. Never. Nah. Okay, trade's fine for the moment. Keep things on the up. Carrick, um. To war! Uh. Let's see if we can get military access. Don't do need it as such. But. Day, yep. We managed to make a breakthrough, obviously. And Border Princess, oh, things God. are improving here. You're going to trade with I us, surely. I hope your words are wise. Indeed. Excellent. I might even be able to make some money out of this, but I'm not bothered about that. I am the defender to be honest, right now. Choose your words carefully. They always like to trade. Understood. Yes, they do. All of a sudden, damn breaks. Cannot. And everything starts going our way. There we go. Good stuff. Uh, and with that, let's end the turn. We actually got a confederation. Do I want to spark it? Not just now, I think. We'll maybe do that next turn. Let's move on. Mark. Okay, not too bothered about that mission failing. Uh, okay, so during the end turn, we had uh, Thegan's Errantry. Or somewhere down south, uh, offered us a peace treaty, paid us 500 gold for it, so we accepted that. And up here, Clan Mulder broke off their siege of the Hellpit and made a run for it. So we'll follow them and wipe them out. But uh, what else do we need to do? Oh, yeah, I wanted to check and see. Now that we've got our uh, alliance with the dwarfs, so we'll get Nordland and Ostland to confederate. We need Bretonia. Uh, Ostermark confederate. Okay, that's fine. Everland. Yeah, so we still need military alliance with Bretonia there. We've taken them. We need 17 of these settlements. Two, three, four, five, six just now. I was hoping I might get more of that from the dwarfs. Anyway, that would be seven and eight. Don't know about that. Uh, got a long way to take. We could take the Sartosa. Caron would get from Military Alliance. Yeah, we're going to have to work on a military alliance with the Lothern as well, I think. So, we've still got a long ways to go. If we're going to go for the long object, uh, the long campaign victory. But for now... I am Prince and Emperor! Hey... I... This army... Yeah, that's the main army that was besieging the settlement. So if you come up here, no, just up to there, I'll do it. I'm just thinking there might be an ambush army hanging around. No, nope, second army's there. Um, Carol Franz. So if you come up here. Onwards. 
and we'll have Balthazar make that attack. We've got other armies uh, that are besieging Maragliano. So I'll just leave them for now. So. I don't know if we want a Luminarch right now. I don't think so, to be honest. How much? We've got 15,000, so let's get the armory built up. Eastern Slovenia, Castle Drakenhof. We want to upgrade you. And I can get rid of this. Yes, let's do that. Okay. Let's get out of the way, thank you. Help it. I'm just going to leave for now. Mm, let's tax the province. Mootland, what did we get here? We got... Uh, was it a famine? I'm sure I saw something about... Yeah, famine in the moot. So negative growth, that's okay. Let's start taxing again. So that's another 1600 income per month from those two uh, taxations. Don't need growth. Or public order, so don't need anything there. Leave you as you are, and nothing to do up there either. I don't think we can afford anything in here. I think we will go for the Great Temple of Ulrich eventually. In fact, we could do it next turn, I suppose. Before we start building up another army. So, yeah, we might go for that. I want to get rid of that. Not for now, I'll keep it there. Um, yes, we'll save up for cash, go for the Great Temple, back to Visenland. Uh, and we're just going to leave that. Okay, so we'll keep the three grand that we've got. 2020 about those. And I'm going to go up and set up this battle. And then I'm going to put in a break. So, Balthazar. Here you come. You? I expect to stand since they've got the two armies there. Victorious. Unless he's just out of recruitment uh, reinforcement range, he must be. Onwards. And you can't quite reach. Okay, so let's have you just drop back into about there. Move. That'll do. We'll keep you nice and compact. And public order's still fine there. Now, because we've got all the characters, I suppose, in the province. So, that's that. Uh, since they've refused, let's set up the other battle then. 
you attack there. Oh, we're good to go this time. So we will fight this one uh, in the next part. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. And I hope to see you again next time. Cheers.